deaths across the globe tonight and for good reason. That's right. Three people have died this summer due to a serious and eerie condition. We're talking about a brain eating amoeba, a microscopic organism that lives in fresh water and enters your body through your nose. CBS 21's Ben Russell is live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg tonight. And Ben, you say there's both good news and bad news with this. Uh, there is, Tanya, but first I can say there's practically nothing more horrifying that I can think of than an almost invisible creature crawling up through water and living inside of your brain, and it entered through your nose. Again, just very, very scary stuff. So, of course, I'm obviously bringing you this story while standing here live in the Susquehanna River. But, yes, the good news here is that the likelihood of this happening to someone here is very unlikely. However, the bad news is that if it does happen to you, there's a chance doctors will not be able to treat you. They call these the dog days for a reason. A quick dip looks a lot better when the mercury is rising, for some. If it's not a pool with chlorine, then they won't swim in it. Even an ocean, I'm a little iffy about too. That mom may be onto something. What with a Florida 16-year-old dying one week after swimming in a river and a nine-year-old Virginia boy being killed one week after a fishing trip this summer. The next morning, he doesn't want to get out of bed. He's falling asleep in an instant. And then he looks at me like he doesn't know who I am. Essentially, what this is the equivalent of is winning the lottery and then getting hit by lightning twice. It's very, very rare. It is a microscopic amoeba living in freshwater lakes, rivers, and springs. The amoeba attacks brain tissue and kills quickly, usually in 1 to 12 days. And because it is so rare, it's difficult for doctors to distinguish its symptoms of headaches, stiff neck, and vomiting from other infections. I would treat them for bacterial meningitis. I probably wouldn't even think about the possibility that they were infected by a brain-eating amoeba. And as a result, most people diagnose these things very late. And because it won't be diagnosed until very late, there's a good chance there is little to no hope for someone who contracts one of these brain-eating amoebas. Now, another good news, bad news scenario. The good news is that there is an antifungal treatment that has been proven to work in laboratory settings for these things. The problem is that, again, as that doctor had told us, uh, it is not diagnosed until so late in the stages of the development of this amoeba for most people that once they try to use it on you, it will not work. Live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Ben Russell, CBS 21 News.